Have you seen this TV show Mom? It's the story of two recovering alcoholic mother-daughter duo. Now in this episode, Bonnie Plunkett has relapsed and got high on some painkillers. And when asked why, when she struggled to stay clean for years, she says, I got pissed at the world, got high, then I got even higher to forget why I was high. You see, that's what happens to most of us. No, not the alcoholism. The feeling pissed, walking around pissed part. Just sitting at an airport lounge will show you this dark world of angry, pissed off people hurting themselves, hurting others. And that is the focus of this episode. How to stop being angry all the time. If you would like it, that is. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. I get it. It's never easy to stop being mad at someone or something. After all, like the ad says, the world is filled with idiots, right? But if every little thing sets you off and you're walking around like a bomb about to go off and are grumpy all the time, it's time to figure out what's really bothering you. Because let's face it, no one likes being around people who are angry and pissed off all the time. No one likes walking on eggshells around you, not knowing what will set you off. And this can wreak havoc in all your relationships. If you can't find a way to manage your anger, you won't just be punishing the other person. You may be hurting yourself too. Again, here we bring out our favorite villain, stress. When you're stressed out or not satisfied with the way your life is shaping out, your mind focuses on all those little irritants. When there's a lot on your mind, you have lower tolerance and are much less forgiving. Anger comes from the emotion of me right, you wrong or me good, you bad. And in this state, your primitive brain takes over and all you think of is having been disregarded, disrespected, falsely accused, distrusted, devalued, discriminated against, violated and so on and self-righteously feeling so wronged, all you want is revenge. Instant revenge. You become the superhero for your own self and you want to serve justice. You see where I'm going here? And then comes repentance, remorse, the guilt. How much time people spend apologizing after the Big Bang? Dude, I'm sorry I threw that chair on the wall. Or oh, babe, I'm sorry I called your father a weasel. You know, and I know, that being the angry superhero has never served you. So, here are a few ways to get a grip on your anger. And am I glad I'm on the inside of your screen, dude? Number one on the list is to take deep, deep breaths. You notice as you start getting angry, your breath is becoming shallower and faster. Your body is getting into a fight mode. So, stop. Count up to 20 in Russian. Unless you're a Russian, then do it in Hindi. And with each count, take in deep breaths. It's that simple. Try it. It works. This is hands down my favorite way to get over anger. I have found that when I feel my anger coming on, especially the dark, violent one where innocent bystanders get hurt, I just put on my running shoes and leave. 30 minutes of a fast run or lifting some weights in the gym and my mind calms down. Exercise releases endorphins and dopamine, which are our happy hormones. 15 minutes of sleep refreshes you drains some of the I'm going to kill him endorphins and puts you back in a calmer place. It really does work. Don't make it more than 15 minutes though or you'll wake up groggy and be even more angrier. Now, if you're at a place where nap is not possible, simply go to the bathroom and splash some ice cold water on your face, guaranteed to cool you down. Scientifically proven to be the best stress buster, you really cannot be angry with puppy-eyed adoration, if you're a dog person that is. 
or if you just want to yell at your dog, you can let off the steam and your dog won't hold it against you either. Write, write, get it all down. Call them every name in the book. Turn off your Wi-Fi, write whatever you want to whoever you're angry with. Then, read it once before you destroy it. Use the incinerator or your lighter or flush it down. But don't mail it. Trust me, you will feel much better. Also, once you write it all down, it seems so trivial. Now, here I'm going to give you one of my fun tools to help you with your anger. This one is inspired by a blog I read by Leon Selzer in Psychology Today. I'm going to call it the Donald Duck Therapy. You've seen Donald Duck? And you know how everything sets him off? You don't know, but you look exactly like Donald Duck when you're angry. So, if you watch Donald Duck, you will see how you look like a crazy figure. Completely provoked, he spirals out of control, his reactions completely OTT and he looks and sounds silly. In this state, he can barely talk and he makes no sense. What I want you to do is find a picture of Donald Duck in one of his famous comic tempers and place that image where you can see it. Remind yourself that when you lose control, well, you lose control and that the laughter that comes up when you think of yourself in a duck costume will dissipate that anger. Let me know how this works out for you. And if you know anyone who seems to blow a fuse at the slightest provocation, do share this video with them too. And if you're at the receiving end of someone spewing verbal venom, remember, don't give in to the temptation to react in kind. Every study, every study on the subject of anger says that this is the worst thing to do. Even though hearing all that makes you want to swell up like Hulk, stay calm. Remember, the person who's angry is hurting and fearful. Respond only after they settle. The main thing is, when you employ this distancing act effectively, you'll reduce the other person's power to induce you to lose your cool. A word of caution. This is not recommended for abusive partners. Abuse is not the result of anger issues, but rather a desire to control an intimate partner. If you're being abused, get help now. Share this video with people who you think could benefit from these techniques. And I would love to hear if you have any other methods that you use. And as always, if you need help with anger, do connect. I use a very powerful EFT technique to help release anger and bring in peace.